Let's see. Ooh, ooh, welcome, folks. Welcome to another Let's Play being done by yours truly, Grandmaster Scotty. And just what we're playing today, we are playing one heck of a game, and a game which I assure you justifies the warning I've put at the beginning of this video, and will do so for every video. Because this is a little game, a little cult classic from 1996, known as Harvester. Now, why am I doing this game? Well, originally, I was going to be doing Silent Hill, so I wanted to finish that game off, so I thought it would be a good chance to restart and reboot everything. But, my emulator decided I didn't want to play ball with my recording software, and someone tells me you guys don't want to watch um, got it, Silent Hill being played at 10 frames a second, and I can't find my RCA cable, so I can't record directly from my disc copy off the PlayStation, so... So we go, Plan B! And... This is definitely an interesting plan, B. This is a game I've actually wanted to do for a while. And it's definitely got its part in history. But at the one at the beginning said, if you're under 18, and or if you're as very squeamish as you can tell, for violence, this is not the game for you. Now Emily Jacobson production. A Gilbert Austin game. Harvest. Oh, yeah, this was definitely a game that came with a lot of hype. It was touted as being the most violent game of all time, the most disgusting, the most out there possible game that you could make. It was actually banned in Germany from what I can actually remember, but it didn't really do much for the company. Most people thought it was a pretty bad game, and it, the fact it got delayed by quite a bit probably didn't help. But, you know, it's not the worst game I've ever played. It's definitely got some problems. And it is very much one of those point-and-click games that is the kind where, you know, if you do one wrong thing, you're pretty much dead from the beginning. So, there's probably going to be a lot of saving going on with this one. I know roughly what I'm doing, I have played through this before. And, uh, let's just say, if you've never seen this game before, you're in one hell of a treat. So, I've got a FMV city going on here, so I'm bad into lacing there, and... Biggest alarm clock in the world with the hammer actually clicking through the bills. Yeah, it is. We were in somebody's middle here. Oh, there's a human! Yes, we have FNV humans in this game. Full motion video, real people. It's like, look at that. Really good shirt on there, mate. You've got a very freckly back or an old case in the back, me. And now we can see what's going on with the rest of the game. So, we've got a help screen he thing here, so you can see your tips and tricks and things. We don't need no tips. So, as you can see, look around the room. A 148 scale P47 Thunderbolt with a broken propeller. Well, obviously, we don't take very good care of our stuff. A pair of binoculars out. With the lenses melted to the table. He's now hot as outside. Mattress is speckled with odd stains. You old fashioned clock. Photo of a beautiful girl, blonde, about 17 years old. Hmm, I think that could be. Dust ball basketball, radiator, and a dresser. Seems to be unlocked. Well, so, operate it then. And inside we find a pair of sunglasses. As of yet, the future's not so bright. I need to be getting all poetic on me there. A 25 cent piece, donated in 1952. Well, that's pretty old. And two marks are visible in this ballpoint pen. That's definitely one of my pens then. Yeah, that's all that's there. What about a closet? Seven flannel shirts accompanied with matching blue jeans are hanging neatly in the closet. Yeah, so we're not exactly much of a fashion guy here. Recently watered plastic plants. So why are we watering plastic plants? Is that, is that a thing? A clarinet. Obviously some fat high school girl near here. Jeez, you're not a very nice guy, whoever you are. So let's walk on out of there with our little strut. There's the TV room going. That's a very big TV. Who's this? What? Oh, we got voice acting. Where am I? In the doghouse if you keep bugging me, because I'm sick, and I'll tell Mom if you don't let me watch TV. Very nice kid. You mean sick. What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomach ache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. You look all right to me. 
I'm not faking it. I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Daddy's sick in bed, too. And Mom believes me anyway. So shut up. You're not a very nice little boy. What's going on, Daddy? Your dad is asleep? He and Mom went at it last night pretty hard. He stayed in bed. I saw what she did to him. It was pretty bad. That what did she... Good. Like you don't know, I saw you and her on the couch last Wednesday night. Guess that's why she's grounded now, huh? What are you talking about? Too bad you didn't pay me, and I had to tell, huh? What are you talking about? What girl? What? Is there another one too? Wait till I tell. Yeah, no snitching. I don't know what girl you're talking about. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. And now you don't so remember? So it seems like we're going out with some girl named Stephanie. No, you I just can't, can't remember, remember anything, anything like I it. said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. You're getting married? What? Let me run so I can watch TV. TV. That's a weird-looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What do you mean, retro? All TVs look alike. Uh, this is interesting. Sure, basically. But this is uh, one old-fashioned bunker. Old-fashioned? It's brand new. The tube. Where's the remote control? What's that? I... Probably a thing to mention right now, it. you probably know this already, there's going to be quite remember. a bit of cutting going and on with this thing. Because every time I have to load an FMV, it's, it, um, no, retro. it stops means... my recording software and then reboots it. Means... it. So oh man, that. I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching my cowboy show. Something like cowboys. Have you oh, noticed that your show is in so... black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a colored television before. Oh, I got it. Definitely seen not. in the future. Have not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history. What made America great. And besides, blood and guts are neither. I don't think this is a very... well-adjusted kid. Little kids should not watch violence. Well, you can't stop me, so let me alone. Or else. Or else what? Bye. Good. Finally. Let's head on out. And looks like we got a kitchen. Got a baby, a newborn sleeping soundly. And hot out of the oven cookies. And what's this? A freshly baked cookies are chucked in a trash can. Why would you chuck cookies that are just being baked? There's more in the oven. This woman definitely has a cookie thing going on. So well, hello there. there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Not eating out Who of are you? Not again, That's anyway. a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't so remember. we were in our family oh, Of course you don't. Now. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Nobody's going to believe us. Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little Steve. after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Steve. So you're dealing with some your kind of amnesiac. Your name will be M-U-D Mud if you don't stop teasing you me, young man. You seem to have the future. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Probably not. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. So there's a little baby down there, the little sister. So graduation, we just graduated. When did I graduate? Four months ago, as if you could forget that. What college? College? A high school diploma is all you need to get a job. And besides, you can't marry Stephanie if you're going to waste your time going to college. 18 years old and you're just There's no way that guy's 18. Job. I'm just calling that right it's now. It's a disgrace, but better late than never. I guess we can thank Stephanie for that. So it's like we're kind of a work shy kid. I know the feeling. And just who is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop, she'll think amnesia her fiance poop. is having second thoughts. Sounds some kind wedding. of weird medical condition you get. Like you forget how to poop. Look, all this talk about weddings is nuts. I'm not marrying anybody till I figure out what's going on here. First, the heartbreak of psoriasis, and now I this. Psoriasis. Two old -timey weeks thing. before the wedding, and you're backing out. Whatever will the neighbors think? I can't marry someone I don't even know. Fine, have it your way, but leave me out of it. 
If you're going to break Stephanie's heart, you march right next door and do it yourself. And so don't expect our next door me neighbor. to write you a note. So then we look for off this sort of thing. So we've got a wedding to go to. Look, all this talk about weddings is nuts. I'm not marrying anybody till I figure out what's going on here. First, the heartbreak of... Oh, we just can't. One. Fine. So, fiancé. Fiancé? This is insane! Oh, you're not having second thoughts about marrying Stephanie. Is that what this silliness is all about? Pre-wedding jitters? Can something like that produce amnesia? Stop this foolishness right now and count your blessings. Stephanie is great at cooking and cleaning. Pretty sure there are other stuff to, you know, happily marry couples. What's cooking like and cleaning got to do with anything? Honestly, boys are so dense. What else is there for a wife but cooking and cleaning? You may not appreciate a hot meal on a clean plate when it's there, but if it wasn't, we'd hear about it soon enough, I'll bet. You're saying that's all there is to marriage? Cooking and cleaning? Yeah, this is definitely well, the 50s. you'll uh, have to ask your father about that, but I'm sure Stephanie will do her duty. When the time comes. What are you doing talking about? What's this duty? Bless your innocence, but there are certain disgusting truths that go along with marriage. Facts that can't be disguised by sheets which wrap around the contours of flexing go-go's and bouncing legs. Oh. You can't know what I'm talking about and that's best. When the time comes to make a baby with Stephanie, you'll have to make your peace with the fact that when a farmer plants his seed, he can't help but get some nasty dirt on his hoe. That's not the worst way I've ever heard it described. Potential fathers or mothers out there never describe that, that particular act to your children like that. My father. He's in the other room. He decided to sleep in today. Now please, let me get back to my cookies. So, uh, that's asleep in bed. Why are you looking at so many cookies? The bake sale was on Friday, and yet you're baking the cookies now. Hey, you're being a bit Never stale, put off till probably. tomorrow what you can do today. But they'll be stale by then. Exactly. That's why I'm throwing them away. And then cooking more? No, to replace the ones I throw out. Why? Well, I have to. No one's going to pay to eat stale cookies out of the garbage you can. You told me to eat stale but cookies out of But you expect garbage. me to. Exactly. Of course not, Steve. I wouldn't charge you. I'm your mother. Help yourself. Thanks. So it's bake sale. What exactly is it about? What charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and have no family ties. Kind of a specific target group, isn't it? You have to pay attention to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. You will. The whole thing has been organized by the Lodge. The Lodge. Tell me more about this bake sale. Some kind of scheme thing Why is it on? so important? As I told you, many unfortunates who come to Harvest end up needing financial help. Why is that the town's problem? It's not a problem, so long as those folks are taken care of. It's the will of the Lodge. I don't like the that Lodge. inflection. Taken care of in that context seems to mean a little, uh, violent way of taking care of them. What's this Lodge about then? What Lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest, and the most exclusive. What's so great about it? Hard to say, since hardly anyone gets inside. But it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their oh, patented like auto dry process now? Is there a camera hiding us? I've never used one, but I know I want it. Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk over to the lodge and apply for membership? Uh, hey. The last thing I want is a fizz on my head. <laughs> is that like a Don't reference? Don't be so to... hasty, Steve. I think you'll find Harvest is a pretty dull place without the lodge. You sound like the membership director. Don't be silly. I just want what's best for you, that's all. So, what's going on with this place, Harvest, Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. In what way? I don't have time to go into it now. Why not take a walk around town and pester someone else? I'm busy. Looks like we have to be doing that anyway. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Put the papers out. Surely they give us the paper. Right, let's head out then. So we've got a cabinet. Anything going on with it? Nothing from the sound of it. And here's a box of newspapers. Guess we'll take one. And put it in. Oh. Did we get the paper? Yes, we did. So here's the paper boy. Hey Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. 
Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Uh, I've got better things to do. Well, I don't, you selfish punk. How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. You need to deliver so the papers. What? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? Uh, That's no all I want. That, that and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? No. You don't get any, any if, even if I do. Oh, gee whiz. Look, if you find any, I'd be willing to trade you for them. Something really neato. Think about it. See you later, alligator. Well, I suppose we should give the kid a newspaper. So, there you go. There now, see how easy it is? Things are so much better between us when you remember the paper in the morning. Now let's keep them that way. I don't like that too. There's our mailbox, even going inside full of junk mail, bills, and bake sale flies. We really like the bake sale in this town. So yeah, this first... Well, this game's broken up into days, kind of like with Dark Seed. First day is a pretty boring day, to be honest. There's our house, a general store, post office, a general store. Phelps. Cole Phelps. So there's a handyman over there. Is he doing anything? Too busy to notice. Just sweeping up debris. Tape and broken glass. A professional break-in. So this place got broken into. So there's a shoddy old TV missing the VHF knob. And Can I help the you there? Owner. Who are you? This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Gein Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. Yeah, go me on that I'm one. fuzzy on a lot of things these days. My memory's gone. Shaw, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious, I need some that. help. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. In which case, I'd Pretty recommend sure Miss Whaley. Blow to the head is one that causes amnesia, not cures Then again, it. they say a good scare can jog the memory. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. Like everyone's just that to go man to gives lodge. me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? Oh, it's I don't know. Haven't seen him. Care to buy anything today? Uh, yes, please. See so if we can get about twenty five cents. So, what do we got? So, um, I'm assuming as a game advertisements. Uh, coffee cans. A cow is bleeding a robust coffee on these Harvest Blend coffee can labels. See a slightly used wrench. An adult magazine. Soup cans, coffee cans, cigarette, and tape. Well, we've only got 25 cents, so... Sam an inventory. And let's give her the 25 cents. And we've got an adult magazine. A girly magazine? Not sure why, why we bought the adult magazine, I'm but I'm sure it'll have some kind of use. I'd expect that sort of thing from Deputy Loomis, but never from you. He's always coming in here oogling the girly magazines behind my counter. So Deputy Loomis Darn is if a bit I'd of a sell him one, I, guess I know his wife, for heaven's sakes. Well, will you sell me one? I certainly will, Steve. That kind of interest is healthy for a young fellow. Stares him away from being a fireman. So I'm being a fireman. The firemen's not get a lot of sexual action. I don't know. Never, never met a fireman before, so I wouldn't know. Anyways, get out of here. Uh, let's head to the post office. See what's going on there. Forty-one percent off packing peanuts in assorted colors. Wow. So, a blind woman's trying to read a mail. Well, good luck to you. Yes? I need some help. Mr... Postmaster Boyle? What can I do Hello, for you Mr. today? Hello, Mr. Postmaster Boyle. Uh, like a lodge application. Mm, sorry, youngster, I we're guess. out of applications right now. Come on, you must have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Can I make one now? Well, can I... Come on, I wouldn't kill you to make one lousy coffee. It's not the effort, son. It's the principle. We must adhere to our there. standards. They're all that stand between civilization and chaos. 
A little bit of an overreaction. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. Well, according to the it's science, very important it's 50 that people I get in quickly. Really hurt you to make 50 That's pieces what they paper. all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't so make it. Seems everybody around here trying to get into that lodge. Well, apparently, not right. a lot of people are in the lodge in general. Bye. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. Okay, I'm English, so that doesn't really mean much to me. Anything on the floor? A little pixel hunt going on. Got clocks, three clocks, three times. Guess we'll leave then. Yay, fire hydrant. Cup. Crushed bay cup with smudged lipstick on it. So somebody was drinking coffee around here. Let's see, you got a barber shop. Pan the camera down here. Got the missile base, the lodge, meat plant, the school, TV station, a diner, is that? Edna's diner, police station, fire station, newspaper building, a hotel, a cemetery. What's that there? Shady Oaks Memorial, the Johnson residence, an abandoned house, and the Potsdam residence. Well, given they're our neighbours, guess we'll go to the Potsdam. I assume this is the one we're meant to be marrying. Oh, that's a very large man. There he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings him to the Potsdam household? Huh? Is he just watching huh? TV static? Uh, he came over to see Stephanie. Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. <laughs> Can't have her changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. What meat? I haven't seen my father. He's locked in a room. Sure we mentioned off our He's not going to die, is he? Like I said, I don't know. That woman, Mom, tends to him herself. That's not very nice to say. Well, next Ooh, time you mom. see him, be sure to tell him that I said hello. And tell him that I'm praying for his speedy recovery. And also, would you remind him about the meat? Especially about the meat. Uh, this guy yeah, fine. Of, uh, if I see him. Little meat in his diet. You should be more concerned. Well, of him, he's had if he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? Who's going to tend to the meat? I guess as his son, you would take over. Right? Uh, meat. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. You think and that the communists would really love like the red meat? Stephanie, she says, you know, I'll be part red. of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> I just noticed he has a Kinda picture of him eating a chop or a slice of meat on the wall. Lodge. Why are you so anxious to get into the lodge? Maybe everybody There's is. There's wonders inside. I've heard there's more meat in there than they know what to do. Oh, now that you're I assume there, sell it, Steve, given it's a uh, slaughterhouse. You might go down to the post office and fill out a lodge oh, application. The lodge. They're always looking for new blood. Even given the size of the place, I'd imagine there's a lot of people to feed in there. Marriage. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hold the wedding down at the funeral parlor. Odd place to have I'm it. Since I'm not a member of the lodge. <laughs> Mr. Moynihan has given his okay, and your father is going to cater the affair <laughs> with plenty of meat. Who's Mr. Moynihan, then? Moynihan is the undertaker. He also runs the Wayward Hotel. Since he's providing the space for the wedding, you might stop by and say hello to him just to be sociable. But whatever you do, be sure to say hi to your father for me. This guy's a little one that? note, isn't he? Tell him hi. Seems to just and remind focus on meat. meat. Although from the looks of him, he hasn't moved from that chair in a while. Uh, bye. Still looking in the kitchen then. So I assume this is the Mrs. we are being told about. Hello, Steve. Have you floss today? Nope. Never have. Never will. Oh, just like my mum for the hair, which yeah, it does. It's a very weird wig. Honestly, you men can insult a woman without even knowing you've done it. What a horrible thing to say! Hey, take that back about my mother. Both standing around baking cookies. Same cut of dress. Same pearls. 
So bizarre. Don't let the weird fair There's music nothing going bizarre about baking cookies. The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know, and by gosh, Mrs. Marvin Potston Jr. can be counted on to do her share. So everybody's going to his bake sale. It'll be a pretty big thing. Girls. Just because I'm doing housework doesn't mean I have to be a drudge. It's a wife's duty to look good for her. Also, well, that's still TV time. static. That is one loud What's TV. Wrong with wearing pearls, for heaven's sake. Nothing, but you look like June Cleaver. Some kind of Ooh. sitcom mom. Sitcom? Jeez, you know. The situation comes. The weird part is, I can't remember how I know that. So I'm too busy guys. with housework Didn't to watch TV. No, hey, yeah. Maybe Mr. He Potson would know future knowledge. About he just tells him to remember come. why he has future knowledge. Stephanie so doesn't watch TV, Stephanie, though. Something weird going She's on. grounded. So, grounded. Mr. Poston feels there's too much at stake to allow Stephanie to run around loose. She doesn't want to get married either, huh? Are you saying you don't want to marry my daughter? Uh, I don't know your daughter, Mrs. Potsdam. Why is she grounded? Afraid she'll run away before the wedding? No! She's as delighted as we are about the Doesn't wedding. Really sound as if as delighted as we are. Room for but she might be hit by a car or away. a falling piano or who knows what. Mr. Poston wants us all to be one happy family, and he doesn't want to risk Wait, anything happening at the last minute. Well, you don't want to ground it up. Yeah, let her out of her room, please. Not a chance, Steve. Mr. Poston wouldn't like it. If you'd like to see her, it's fine with me. Go upstairs and turn right. Now, excuse me. I'm trying to get ready for the bake sale. Uh, bye. Give my regard. Okay, let's uh, head upstairs then, see if Stephanie can make any sense of this. What's in here then? Appears to be the toilet. Got a nice bathtub, thin layer of hair, coats virtually every inch of ceramic, and the rubber ducky seen better days. Not a very nice bathtub then. Why would it be a plant on the floor? Been taking this plastic plant joke way too far. Yeah, it's definitely got plenty of plants. The plastic plant is apparently dead. How do you kill a plastic plant? Someone's been using this plastic plant as a toilet. Ew. There's a plastic toilet. She's pretty. Hard thing to notice. It feels like coarse sandpaper. It'd be painful to wipe this stuff. Why would you make sandpaper? Why would you make sandpaper like that? Why would you make toilet paper like sandpaper? Wall picture hanging a bit crooked. Maybe we can move it. This is what's going on here. So we've got a bit of a peeping hole, and why would there be a peeping hole here? Okay, a little bit odd there. So let's uh, check the mag magaz magazine cabinet, medicine cabinet, reeks of various toiletries. So inside we have aspirin. Got a headache, we'll take that. Oral lube, extra, extra strength oral lube, getting in and out of tight spots. Not sure why we'd need that, but uh, cough medicine. May as well take that, just stealing all their medicine. Disinfectant, yeast disinfectant, not for baking cookies. Ew. Toothpaste, roll the tube from the bottom. And tampons, better ask Stephanie about these. Yeah, just not sure why we're taking them. New zippy vitamins to perk, pick you up. So we're just stealing everything here, and some floss, which we can't take. We've got band-aids though, scattering a band-aid. So we're just taking everything of value from this medic medical cabinet. And I guess we'll go check on Stephanie then. That's a closet. And apparently it won't open. Hello, Stephanie. Bit of an odd position for you to be on the Who bed. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? You mean... So, it seems to be she you don't know remember me? what's going on here. I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? So, is that the amnesia Just one step running the asylum here? I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh, God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those nope. People downstairs have locked me in my room. You mean your parents? They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Oh, well, what do you mean, those people? They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. I know what you mean. I don't belong. I don't belong here. Do you have any you idea where you do belong? No, 
But I'm fairly sure I don't belong in Harvest. Yeah. I can't remember anything. But I feel in my heart that the woman downstairs is not my mother. Yeah, she's my mom in a wig. She's like this... thing. Like a parody. A bad joke with mother as the punchline. Does that make any sense? Uh, seems to be. Believe me, I understand. No, but then nothing else makes sense here. Let's just go with her. I mean, she's the only person I'm glad I'm not so the only one who like, sees yes. it that way. I thought I was going crazy. You are! Join the club. But we can't both be crazy, Stephanie. Well, you can. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape. And so do you. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're both grounded. Dun dun dun. What do you mean by escape? Escape? Harvest is a prison, Ow. Steve. Ow. Don't Ow. forget that. Blocked. That's too harsh because it's eccentric. You haven't been locked in your room for a week. Oh, so it seems to me she's been awake longer than we have. Lodge. Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This order of the Harvest Moon. So they all They're sit around playing for this insane fake day? sale that's coming, and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. I don't know the sound of a Harvest Blood Drive. talk about the lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join. But she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. The only one who wants me to sign on with the lodge. That's probably the worst thing you could do. What do you you mean? think the lodge is some kind of trap? I think all of Harvest is a trap. Well, that's true. Lost, Maybe joining the lodge is the way out. Look, why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Well, good thing I'm Maybe not you, you can then, figure out what's away. happening here without going anywhere near the lodge. You're really afraid of the lodge, aren't you? I look at that building. All lit up at night, and I get scared. Oh good, we're I mean, look the same at the damn thing. Again. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? Uh, bye? Come back and visit me soon, okay? Okay, well, I guess we'll leave then. And I see that's a good part to end the episode. So, there are a lot of interesting things have been going on, although I kind of haven't been fulfilling the whole violent qu quantity of this game, but I assure you, things will pick up soon. So, I've been Grandmaster Scotte, this has been Harvester, and I thank you so very, very much for watching. Add E. Post.